Good day, folks. Today I've got a couple interesting products I want to go over with you. They're from PGY Tech and they're for the Osmo Action. PGY Tech tends to make a lot of nice quality products, so let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So these were sent to me by PGY Tech a couple weeks ago, and I'm finally just getting around to taking a look at them now. This here is a hard protective case for your Osmo Action. And what's nice about this case as well is that there's an opening in the bottom, so you can actually place this over your Osmo Action while it's mounted on a handle, giving it protection while it's in a camera bag or if you need to set it down. So let's, uh, let's open it up first. So as you can see, it's a nice little case. It has that kind of rubbery finish on it. A lot of PGY Tech's cases for drones and for different things like that kind of have that same kind of material. It does have a waterproof zipper on it, although it won't be completely waterproof because it does have that large opening at the bottom that doesn't seal. So let's just open it up here. You can see there we also have a wrist strap on it. Now you can see on this side there is a bit of a mesh pocket, so if you need to stick a few little things in there, I'm not sure what you would put in there, but uh, it is there. So basically this will work just as a case for your Osmo if you're using it handheld. But where these types of cases shine is that you can see that the finger mounts are exposed on the bottom. So you could have this on an extension pole or handle and you can still put the case around it to keep it protected. Now I'll kind of demonstrate that once we get into the handle that uh, we're going to be looking at too. So let's uh, do that right now. So this is kind of a multi-purpose tool for your Osmo Action. First off it's an extension pole so it'll give you some extra reach. It has a built-in tripod and it has a phone mount as well. Let's just open it up here and we'll take a look at it. You can see in the box here we have a few things. We have the handle itself. You can see here we have a quarter 20 to a GoPro finger mount and what that does is allow you to connect to other devices that have a quarter 20 on it and not a GoPro finger mount. And then lastly we have a couple of PGY Tech's version of a thumb screw. Truth be told I'm not a big fan of these. They do work well but um, I just don't like having to bring extra stuff along with me that I don't need. First off, you can see we have a smartphone mount that folds out, and of course it can spin, so you can orientate your phone however you like. It's an extension pole. Now I can't get it all the way in, but it's got a decent amount of length. And then lastly, it is a tripod. So kind of a three-in-one tool there. Now the smartphone mount does not need to be out to use it. If you're going to be filming with your Osmo Action and you don't want to be using a smartphone, you can just simply fold it up and it's out of your way. Uh, the nice thing about this extension pole is that you can put it at whatever length you want. There's enough tension there to hold it. Some of the extension poles you get, the ones that you have to turn to lock in, can be kind of a pain sometimes because they're all or nothing. You have to have them all the way out and lock them in. You can't lock them in halfway if you just want a little bit of an extension. Now one thing I am noticing here at the end of the extension pole, this piece twists. So that's kind of nice. You can put it at whatever angle you need for what you're shooting at the time. Let's go ahead and get our Osmo Action mounted. So that spinning head is kind of nice because if you're filming something and uh, you decide you want to do a bit of logging, you can easily spin it towards yourself. And uh, of course you'll have to put the phone mount down. So now that I've got the Osmo Action on a pole, let's uh, finish this case demonstration. You can see we can put it in the case and then uh, zip it up. So that just kind of keeps your Osmo Action protected and you don't have to take it off the pole or the handle that you have it mounted on every time you just want to put it away or put it in a camera bag. So then we can go ahead and mount a phone in the smartphone holder if we're going to use something like the Mimo app and get a live feed. Sometimes that's nice as the screen on these uh, action cameras are quite small and if you're filming something very specific, you want to line stuff up nicely. Sometimes having a bigger screen is easier to do that. But not only that, you can then control your camera remotely. If, you're got, if you've got the Osmo Action right extended, you can start and stop recording without having to pull the camera in every time. So yeah, some nice little accessories for your Osmo Action. Like I said, um, this is the only thing holding me back from giving this a raving review is that I wish it just had a traditional thumb screw. I don't like having to bring all these extra parts along with me when I'm out filming if I don't need to. And that would almost prevent me from using it on a regular basis. Now if you're a vlogger, something like this could be very valuable for you as well. If you use the PGY Tech vlogging case that has the different uh, mounts for microphones and lights, once DJI gets the microphone adapter released, something like this would be a nice vlogging tool. You have the tripod, you have an extension, 
and you have the smartphone mount. So yeah, folks, I'll leave the links to these products down below in the description of this video, and you can go and check them out further. Those links will have my affiliate code embedded in them. It doesn't cost you any extra money if you purchase them via my links, and it does help support my channel. Well, folks, that's it for my video. Hopefully you found it informative. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.